Thank you. Um, when you talk to uh, the, f the families of people who've been hurt on the road, it's very clear that the victims are not just the people who've been injured or killed, it's the families as well. And one of the things you hear very often from those families is, it didn't have to happen. You know, this is somebody who's fit, active, cycling as part of a healthy lifestyle, and here suddenly they're dead or, or seriously injured. And my feeling is, it really doesn't have to happen. We can change our roads and we can make them safe, but we have to think a little bit differently. I want to agree with John Biggs. He, he talked about a culture change, and that's absolutely what we need. We need to rethink what our roads are for and how to use the space. And some of it might be, for example, taking lorries off the road at peak times. Get them, you know, get them away from cyclists. Actually think about cyclists being a huge part of our morning traffic and evening traffic and just take away the dangerous lorries rather than try and actually cram the cyclists into seg segregated lanes are wonderful but you don't have to have them you can do safety in other ways but obviously these cycling superhighways are not safe at the moment and I'm a fan of them I want them to succeed but the co coroner pointed out that the obvious that blue paint isn't enough to stop you getting crushed by a lorry and so you do have to think a little bit differently there's also the fact that the statistics um, would be higher, of course, if more lives weren't being saved in cars, because cars are much safer. There are fewer people being injured or killed in cars. And so, in fact, the, the rise in pedestrians and cycling, um, you know, it doesn't seem as bad somehow, but it, um, it, 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 it changes the statistics. Um, there's also the fact that we talk about road safety all the time, which is a very sort of, um, it, it doesn't convey, I think, the feeling that we all have about the danger that's on our roads. And so perhaps we should talk more about road danger, because that's the problem. The problem is not road safety. The problem is the lack of road safety, which is road danger. And so perhaps we should, when we're going through the transport committee, just, just change perhaps the wording and think about how to describe it. Um, there's also too much victim blaming. I mean, I... You know, I do admire Peter Hendy, he's keeping London moving, but today he actually, there's a woman who fell off the bus and he said, oh, she was listening, you know, she was on her phone, got her headphones on and so on. You've just got to avoid blaming the victims. You have to look deeper than that, you know, perhaps the driver breaks suddenly or perhaps somebody stopped in front. You know, don't blame the victim because they've got in, their families and they have enough to cope with, um, with their injuries. I, I am concerned that the mayor is a long way from the go Dutch standards that he promised in the election. He promised them. And he's talked about a lot of money, and it's just time to do it now. And just, you know, just do it. Make London's roads safe. Thank you. Thank you.